Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of checking accounts. This is standard 6.14a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here shows the monthly fees for checking accounts at two banks. So bank F, $8 when the average daily balance is less than 500. No fee wins 500 or more. K, 12 bucks when the average, average daily balance is less than 750. No fee wins 750 or more. So which statement best supports the information? All right, so let's open up this graph draw feature. Let's make the transparency increase so I can draw it. And I will say this, if you are opening up a checking account at a bank, you probably shouldn't have any types of fees. Most banks will avoid a fee as long as you have a direct deposit, which means you've got a job that it will directly put your paycheck in there. So fees with checking accounts, try to avoid those. But let's see what this problem is asking us to do here. The fee at bank K will be greater than the fee at bank F whenever the average daily balance is less than 750. Okay, so we're just having to evaluate. Let's do this. So I'm going to have two different banks. I'm going to kind of keep a little table here. So I'm going to do F and K. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my balance. All right, and let's just see which one of these is is correct here. So whenever the average daily balance is less than 750. Okay, so let's start with that here. Less than 750. What's going to happen at each bank? Well, Bank F says the average daily balance is less than 500. No fee. Uh, no fee when it is 500 or more. Well, uh, this one could be, it depends, it says less than 750. Uh, the average daily balance is going to be greater at bank K. K says less than 750. It's going to be at least 12 bucks. And if it is at bank F, maybe, question mark, could be eight bucks, but it depends on whether it's, it says less than 750, but this one kicks in when it's less than 500. So maybe it's eight bucks, but definitely that K, that 12 bucks is gonna be greater than, than that eight. It just depends on whether it's between the 750 and the 500. So maybe this one works. Uh, the fee at bank K will always be less than the fee at bank F. Well, no. Look at K. K is 12. F is 8. Uh, so the fee at bank K will usually be more. So that one's not going to work. The fee uh, at bank K will always be greater. Okay. Well, you know what? It's this always right here. Uh, always doesn't work because you know what? If bank K has got more than 750, right? Like if I've got an $800 I've got zero fee. I've got zero fee at either bank. So if I've got 800 bucks in the bank, in either bank, I've got no fee because these fees only kick in when it drops in below 750 or 500, depending on the bank. So this always doesn't make this correct because sometimes the bank fees will be equal, which is zero. So always watch out for these word always because I can think of a, a time when uh, that always doesn't work for B or C. And then D, the fee at bank K will be less than the fee at bank K only when the average daily balance of 750 is maintained. Fee at bank K will be less. Actually, if you've got 750, bank K is going to be equal to bank F because 750 would get you a balance of a fee of zero at both banks. So you know what? I think A is going to be our best answer. And let's go with that.